The tail of the tape for our co-feature between the local phenom, Alex Saucedo, and Lenny Zapafina. And note the compu box mark on jab percentages on the bottom. Saucedo is above the junior welterweight average, landing 22% of his jabs, almost tripling the mark of Lenny Z. He also has a three-inch height advantage. Here we go, 10 rounds to start our night of top-ranked boxing on ESPN. I tell you, it's a very small ring tonight. 20 by 20, 18 inside. I don't think these guys don't, I don't think it matters tonight. It, it caused the Salcedo camp a great deal of consternation last night. What were they saying to you, Mark? They were upset they wanted a new ring. They said, bring in a, you know, bring in a ring from Dallas. And they were, they were, you know, this went on through the night. They didn't get the ring they wanted. It wasn't quite as small as they had been told. <laughs> Some like, they thought they were going into a 16-foot ring. They went into an 18-foot ring. But if Salcedo keeps jabbing like this, you're right, Tim, it will be immaterial. Yeah, but you saw Salcedo right there get clipped with an overhand right by Lenny. Lenny's an aggressive counterpuncher. He has some quick hands, and he set him up with the overhand right. Again, yeah, Lenny's he five foot seven, Saucedo five foot ten. Tried to drive home that right hand once he got to the inside there. Salcedo has all the athletic advantages here. Age, size, reach, height. He's a better athlete. And when we spoke to his trainer, Abel Sanchez, yesterday, he says, yeah, but I want to toughen him up. And he cited, Tim, your fight against Ruslan Provodnikov, which is a brutal affair. And I have to say that, as a fan, I love the fight. If, I, if I'm a trainer, that's the last thing I want a guy who's just 24 years old to fight like. Well, I, I have to say that the trainer wants his fighter to be fan friendly. And I would say I want my fighter to be defensively sound and technical, especially if you have the size like he has now and using that jab from the outside and setting up the beautiful knockout because he has power in both hands. You could be fan friendly and, and not look like Lenny Z. Well, I, don't, I didn't look like that. I don't look like Lenny Z, man. I look pretty good, right? You look great. <laughs> the short right hand that went in at the end of that exchange for Alex. Tried to clip him with a left hook counter punch as Lenny Z came forward there. Yes, he did. Salcedo likes to stay in the mid-distance range. He Sometimes he lets his combinations go. Then he comes right back to the middle, and he stays there. But we return, we return fire. Good exchange, active first round for both men. See both guys not really using the ring at all. They're standing right in front of each other, exchanging punches, looking for counter punches, opportunity. They, they could do the same thing in a 20-foot ring, a 16-foot <laughs> ring, whatever. <laughs> They're barely leaving the logo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming to the end of round number one of what should be a great night of Top-ranked boxing on ESPN, capped by the world title fight with Zerto Ramirez. We got the two-division champ, Tim Bradley, as always, in between Mark and me. Champ. A couple years ago, I asked Zappavini's manager, Mike Altamura, well, when does he typically start bleeding? He says, oh, when he's shadow boxing. Right, <laughs> yeah, in <laughs> camp about three weeks ago. As soon as the contract is signed, but hopefully that will not be the case for Lenny Z, who, as is often the case, puts forth a spirited effort. Yeah, Lenny Z showing his hand speed right there, making adjustments, going down to the body and the head of Salcedo. Good shot that backs up Lenny Z. Said power both hands. That right hand clipped Lenny Z as he stood back, looked at and admired his work, got clipped with the right hand behind his guard. I believe it's a left hand. He's been sitting on that counter left hook as well. Come forward, right hand to the mid body by Lenny Z. Really good timing by the young kid, Salcedo. I would love to see him get his jab working. He better control a little bit more. Doubled up the left hand with an uppercut in the mix. Something that, Tim, that we saw last time, Salcedo for a very pleasing fight at StubHub, but did not go to the body at all. No. See, I mean, oh, nice uppercut in the middle there. Right hand by Saucedo. He sees those 
big targets above the eye, the scar tissue above Lenny Z's eye. I noticed he saw that when they squared up, when they, when they, when they posed for the photographers the other day. But it might be uh, worth his while to go a little bit to the body. Yeah, absolutely. I said in the beginning that he goes well to the body. Watch a film on him, he did at times. But now I don't, I don't really see too many body shots yet. There's a right hand from Lenny Z. And Saucedo tried to roll with it. Both men have landed significant punches here in this second round. Double up the jab, just missed with the right hand. Nice work with the left hand. Look at this. Look at that. That's a beautiful combination right there. Doubling up, tripling up with the same hand. Including an uppercut. But you see how he stands there for return fire. He does get hit. He's available for shots. That's Salcedo is. Lenny Z's having a good time letting him work and getting off his, his punches as well. I think fans are having a good time watching these first two rounds. This is a very good pace that is being set between these two. Body shot with the right hand from Lenny Z. <laughs> There's the blood. There is the blood. The there it is. Already right started. Eye. The right eye has opened up on Lenny Z. Always a concern with him. There's a left hook that landed as well as a right hand that came across. As Saucedo finds success here in round number two. And you can see Lenny Z already affected by that right eye. We're going to take a short break and come right back to OKC. Up the middle. Textbook uppercut. Every time your hands leave your face, there's the opening up the middle, and he found home for that uppercut. And it was a little later in that second round that a combination did open up a cut on the right eye of Lenny Z. And we have confirmation from the commission here ringside that that was caused by a punch. CompuBox numbers in the last round, 44% landed by Saucedo, 36 of 82. Good pace by both, 163 combined punches thrown in that second round. No one has really taken over this fight yet. It's a back and forth action packed fight. Both guys are having their, their chances and having their opportunities in the ring. Hard rounds to score, in my opinion. I, I, I see Salcedo with a decided advantage. And I also think that cuts bothering Lenny. You can see the way he's blinking. He's fighting with a great deal of desperation. He understands the stakes. He's been in this game for 12 years. He's 30 years old. Oh, no good reason. exchange, and Lenny Z goes down! Four, five, six, seven, eight. Walk to me. Walk Let's see the if Alex Saucedo can close the show in round three. They are on their feet here at the Thunderdome. Here he comes, charging in, a right, a left, looking for the headshot, probing with the jab. Now he goes to the body with a left hand, over the top with a right. And here comes Lenny Z, valiantly fighting back. Left hook of his own, trying to stand right in the pocket. You want to get your, you got your guy hurt? One thing I'm not seeing from Salcedo, he needs to go down to the body to drop those hands of Lenny Z. Look at Lenny Z stand right in there. Cut eye, knocked down, and fighting back. Sharp right hand, right behind the jab from Saucedo. Lenny, D, Lenny Z showing his heart, showing his experience. He's hanging in this fight right now. Right hand to the body was partially hit by the elbow. Seeing a guy who was 24 earlier this week fight at a very high, mature level. Not rushing in front of the home crowd. No, he's not rushing. And he's per throwing perfectly timed uppercuts with the left and right hand. Get that shot. He just got hit by a right hand, but he comes back with a right hand of his own and splits the guard. I'm telling you, this young man has Eric Morales written all over him, in my opinion. I have no problem with that. <laughs> For years to come, I have no problem with Look that. Short right hand from Lenny C comes right back to close out a round in which he was knocked down. Oh, that's good stuff. Mark it down, round number three here at OKC. <laughs> Every time you the head, they land. Bring back. It's a knockdown right here. Let me see what punch lands here. 
Oh, a beautiful time. As Lenny Z was throwing his round right hand, guess what? The young man Salcedo throws his own in between the shot right hook. And down goes Lenny Z. Check it out again. Boom. Perfectly timed. That's double impact. As you're throwing a punch and you get hit with an existing punch, that's double impact. Yeah. Some of the best, most spectacular knockdowns we see, you can ascribe to that. That's a Opening shot. up, throwing a punch, and taking one before you can wow. deliver one. What a great third round. But he gets up, and he's fighting. He's still fighting strong, in my opinion. So, still trying to win. Remember, so much is on the line here at 140 pounds. Saucedo has been destined for greatness for so long. The hype has been building. A win tonight, and possibly lined up to fight undefeated Maurice Hooker, who just won the belt from Terry Flanagan. Both of these guys made their reputations within the boxing business at the wild card. Years ago, Lady Z came from Australia. Freddie Roach put him in with Miguel Cotto, and he impressed. Oh, savage shot. Saucedo attacking that head, left and right, as Lenny Z comes back. Look at the experience now coming in. You want to talk about experience and guts. From hurt and battered to now a left hook that has the undefeated hometown kid hurting badly. He better and hold. Up. He better hold. Lenny Z going Look for at it. this action from Lenny Z going for broke here in round number four. A big right hand. Alex Saucedo stood up to it somehow. Finally ties up for a moment, but quickly a break. Can you believe this fight? And a cut on Saucedo's right eye as he takes and takes and tries to get more. I asked Lenny Z yesterday, what happens if he loses? There is no losing, he said. Absolutely not. He Pierce. knows this is his last shot. This is basically the Maurice Hooker's title. This is his last shot to get there, to get that Squared title. up, throwing punch after punch after punch. He's going for it. Blood streaming down the face of Saucedo as well as he lands an uppercut. We've talked about Lenny Z's cuts. Salcedo is cut in his last two fights, and this is a gruesome one above his right eye. There you go. Salcedo loves to fight that mid-distance range. You don't like to use his height. Guess what? Lenny Z knows that, and he stays there after every combination, doesn't move his head, and Lenny Z, an aggressive counterpuncher. Saucedo landed a right hand that opened up the cut even worse on Lenny Z, and Lenny Z stands up and just fires back. This is outrageous. Let's see how they finish it up. Let them take it home, boys. You can take your list of round of the year and put it in big marker right now. Alex, that's the only Back, right? No shit is gonna land, right? right. Here's how it all started. And you see Salcedo jabbing right there, a little bit too close, tried to throw a hook from the middle and got clipped with the right hand. There it is, overhand right. Jabbing or throwing a punch from the middle, whether it's a hook or a jab. Lenny Z stepping right in with the overhand right. He changed levels right there. Look at how clean their faces were at wow. that moment of the fourth round. And then they were just drenched with blood for the final two minutes. And now they're going to dance that dance again. Saucedo and Lenny Z trying to earn a title shot. The undefeated 24-year-old in front of his hometown fans here in Oklahoma City stood up to everything Lenny Zapavina had in that last round.
right now. If I'm if I'm in Lenny Z's corner right now, I'm telling him to attack this young man, bag him up, throw your combinations, block, and come right back because he's there to be hit. To just see what we put up graphically there, that arc of this fight for Lenny Z. To know that he was cut badly, that he was knocked down, and then comes back and lands 42 power punches to get after Saucedo. Now what will this bring? Bernardo was in Saucedo's corner. Bernie, what can you tell us? Now Abel Sanchez says, look, the first thing that Alex has to do is establish the jab. He can't just wait for him to throw. He can't be perfect with his punches. He's got to go and be first, and that's what he's trying to do here in round five. The right hand has made a home for Lenny Z on Salcedo. And he's looking to set him up. You see that jab to the belly? He's looking to set him up for that big overhand right that he landed a round ago. That's what Lenny's corner told us. That as good as that jab is, he gets lazy bringing it back. And he right. can be countered. Also, you see him lean in there. He leans in and he's susceptible to an uppercut. Well, right now, Salcedo is controlling the distance with that jab. That jab is working wonders for him right now. But he cannot make a mistake from jabbing too close. Keep it outside. Salcedo is learning something about himself that very few people ever learn. He's being tested in a way that you don't usually get tested. In front of the home crowd with a cut like that against a very, very determined fighter who knows this is his last chance. Yes. These are the moments when you watch boxing where you realize everything else is just a game. You don't play boxing, folks. No, you don't. All the other sports and metaphors for what this actually is, stripped down combat. You see Salcedo changing the speed up on his punches, taking a little bit of leather off of him, throwing combinations to keep Lenny Z at bay. And he's throwing and trying to throw at full extension with his punches now. You see the effect that's happening right now on Lenny Z. Lenny Z swiping at his eyes. That cut has worsened. There's a right hand behind the jab as Lenny Z tries to fight off the ropes for a moment. Oh, big right hand comes in, splitting the guard and getting the attention of everybody here at the Thunderdome. He needs to watch the counter punches from Lenny Z. Here he comes. That's that overhand right. Swinging for the fences again is Zapavina. And he comes back with a big right hand. It just won't stop here. Don't go anywhere. Back here in Oklahoma City, the crowd has been standing for the better part of the last four rounds with good reason. Tim Bradley, take us through some of the action of the last round between Salcedo and Lenny Z. Look at this right hand land for Salcedo. Right behind the jab, full extension on the right hand. He's taking a little bit of mustard off the punch. And what I see right now, but it was a full extension right hand right there. He's using his height, and that's what he needs to do against Lenny Z. Don't stand there and exchange with this guy. Use your height and fight from a distance. Look at the amount of blood splatter in the middle of the ring. Lenny Z said he wanted to take Salcedo into the later rounds and into deep water, he called it, and drown him. Drown. I can't see this thing going on. To the later round. It's going to be a battle of attrition. And someone's going to hemorrhage. <laughs> it's incredible. It's an incredible, incredible fight. And the guts of the two guys, amazing. Bernardo, Bernardo what can you offer? Well, that in Zapovina's corner, Ernie Zavala is not really concerned about the blood. He's concerned about the cut underneath the right eye and the swelling that's being caused there. And in terms of what's going on boxing-wise, he says Lenny Z has got to get off first, set up the body shots, and then land that overhand right, but be first. Well, there was a good right hand that got around. He sure did. Came around that guard of Lenny Z right there. Now the young man is attacking, but you see he's not smothering himself. He's trying to keep the fight outside so he can have his opportunity and Lenny Z got to step in and take more leather. Good job by Salcedo, keeping it at, at range. Using that height. Bent straight back and Salcedo followed him with punches. Huge amount of swelling now under the left eye of Lenny Z. Blood streaming down the right side of his face and a big mouse under the left eye. Double jab right hand, Lenny Z looked to counter. Lenny Z trying to counter in between. Salcedo stepping back with his hands down. If I was Lenny Z, 
I would take two steps in and come behind with the overhand right or left hook. It's open. And somehow this is just the appetizer to a world title fight still to come. Think about that. Sit back, enjoy your Saturday night. It's getting good. There's a body shot with the left hand and a right hand from Lenny Z. And did you Lenny see the legs? just can't see. He's pawing at his eyes. He's having obvious difficulty with his vision. He's used to fighting like this. Look at his face painted with blood and yet fighting back. Salcedo's learning two things this round in particular. One, you use your jab, you control the distance. Two, the greatest virtue you can have in this game is the ability to remain undiscouraged. End of six coming up. Trying to earn a title shot is the undefeated local guy, Alex Saucedo, from right here in Oklahoma City. But the veteran, Lenny Z, will not go away. Lenny Z trying to use that jab now to come in. And now he's going down to the body, trying to take some of the tires out of the, take some of the air out of the tires of Salcedo, excuse me. Let's check in with Bernardo. Abel Sanchez wants Salcedo to use the jab, blind Lenny Z, and move to his right because he cannot see that overhand right coming from the left eye. There's no doubt about it with the left eye, Bernardo. That is huge amount of swelling around the left eye. The blood is coming from the right eye, but the left eye is completely closed. What do you tell your guy, your fighter, Lenny Z, bloodied up? He has to go for broke right now because guess what? The ref there's a possibility he may stop the, stop the fight the next round. I think that Ernie Zavala told him the right thing. He has to go for it. Let your hands go because I'm going to give you one more round. You can't trust Lenny Z to protect himself. This falls to his corner, Ernie Zavala and Pepe Riley. This reminds me of a fight. Eric Morales, Pablo Cesar. This reminds Conan. me of a horror movie here. Check it it's out. Like a splatter movie. Look at this. Come on. And this may or may not be fight of the year, but unless Alex Salcedo gets terribly overconfident, this is an extraordinary coming of age for him. It is hard to believe that this could go any further after this round when you look at the face of Lenny Z. There's a right hand. Salcedo, see what he's got here, as he's got him pinned in that corner, and Lenny Z, of course he does, fights out of position. Blood splatter on our camera. His work rate is, is still barely diminished. Joe. It's amazing. Unbelievable effort. Yeah, that shot right eye there closed. Right on Other eye. eye cut. You see him step back, got his distance because that shot hurt. Hit him right on the button. Another right hand comes in to Bernardo's point. Step to that side. Throw the right hand. How could he possibly see it coming? If Lenny Z was a character in a Hollywood boxing movie, they would reject that face right now. Say it's unrealistic, but yet it's happening right in front of us live on national TV, and he's fighting harder and harder. Yeah. Another right hand from Saucedo. That's it. This is That's it. it. They are no shutting this thing down no up more. on the apron. The ref doesn't see it yet as he takes no more. more punishment. The corner stops it. Valiant effort, but OKC's Thunderdome is rocking. Salcedo returns home and puts on a magnificent show. What a finish. Here you are, you see Salcedo moving in. Right now he's having his way. He's landing shots. He's winning every exchange and the, and the transition phase. The transition phase is when they come together and they come apart, come apart and they come back together. The homecoming back here in Oklahoma City. AKA Loud City. It's about to roar more as a title shot was just earned and to make it official. Here's Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go to the official time, a round of applause for the two warriors we just saw here in the ring tonight and a true candidate for Fight of the Year 2018. The end comes at 2 minutes 31 seconds, round number seven. The winner by TKO victory, still undefeated, he is 
the fighting pride of OKC, the undefeated Alex L. Cholo Saucedo. Alex Saucedo, still undefeated, having landed 166 power punches through seven rounds.